2K Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you this year's Q School Final. It's time to get underway, so let's get into the coverage of this exciting event. Luke Elby here alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, what's on the minds of these players today? Look, at the end of the day, these players want one thing and one thing only, and that's their Corn Ferry Tour card. And to do that, they need to finish up in the top 50 at the end of the event. It's all set up to be a beauty. Let's see how it unfolds. That's a big drive. Second shot here on the first. feet to the hole this is what they have left for birdie here this is a power putt Starting the round at even par. Nothing wrong with an opening par, just easing their way into this round. He's currently tied for seventh. Let's see what happens here on the second hole. Players want to take out any club, driver three, whatever it takes to miss the bunkers down the right-hand side in order to give them the best opportunity to knock it on in two. However, danger lurks everywhere around this green, so players playing cautiously might want to consider laying up. Birdie fours are always a good score to this hole, and you're never disappointed with a five. That drive heading straight towards the cut stuff. Second shot on the second. Game with the seven. And here we are with the third shot. This one looks to be on a pretty good line. A wonderful shot and a chance for Birdie here at the second. This looks good. Beautiful shot. Currently one under for the round. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. Teeing off here at the third hole. A split green here. It is difficult to make birdie twos, but par threes should be had. Going with the hybrid.
He's found the surface. Good chance here. Yeah, this putt is for a big two on the scorecard. And he's down there. You got a read? Straight back up this hill. Can be firm here. Well, that's a momentum maintainer. Well done. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. The fourth at TPC Boston Rich, a great short par four. Players looking to make birdie or better. The only difficulty is finding that front bunker. That's when big numbers can be had. For sure, birdies galore. Second shot here on the fourth. <laughs> Nicely done. Trying to get to two under with this part. This is their look at birdie. Looking good. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. And that will take him to two under. Well, that was a positive hole. A little shift up the leaderboard. Well played. This has to be one of the more difficult holes in golf. The long par four. Dog legs from right to left. The big danger here is the green. Three different tiers on this green. Find the correct one. You'll have a birdie opportunity. Miss it, and it's going to be a difficult two putt. Going and going and going. And he's down there. Setting up here from about 175 yards. Going with the six iron here. This one might need to get down a little. Oh, absolutely flushed. This one's for Birdie. It's tracking. The putt drops, and that's back to back Birdies. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. and maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honor on the hole. Bunkers down the right-hand side are a nuisance. The pond fronting the left part of the green should not come into play if players find the fairway off their tee shots. Second shot to a very flat green. You can get it close, but still difficult on this long par four.
No harm, no foul there with that shot. The sixth hole, particularly the approach, Rich, at TPC Boston is a very strong one. If they put the pin other than front left near the water, it's a good birdie opportunity. But once that pin sneaks over to the left-hand side, watch out. Bogeys and doubles come into the equation very quickly. That one seemed to get away from them, Rich. Looking for the draw, but not finding it. This would be a great up and down from this spot. Oh, great shot. Holes out for a birdie. Wow, what can you say? Hauling it out from the fairway. Every player loves that feeling. What a shot indeed. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Oh, exciting times on the tee of a par five. Par five, and only the long players can reach in two. Find the fairway, then make a decision. Do I go over the large bunker 100 yards away, or do I lay back of it? Either way, you must make a par five here because birdies will be had by the big hitters. Oh, just absolutely abused the golf ball there with that shot. Rich, being a big Boston sports fan, love being here in Beantown. And look, TPC Boston's a great venue for any championship. We've had some great winners here in the past, the likes of Tiger Woods, Ricky Fowler, Justin Thomas. Uh, this golf course, it gives, but it also takes. Look at the list of winners you just mentioned. What do they have in common? A, they're really gritty competitors, but B, they're super good, reliable ball strikers. I think that this golf course is sneaky, demanding. Whoever wins this week is certainly going to earn it on this relatively seemingly benign but sneaky hard golf course. Just three feet to the cup. Look at him just surging ahead at the top of the leaderboard. And that will take him to five under. He's currently sitting in first place on the tee of a par three. Par three and a diabolical green, to say the least. The left-hand side sits much higher than the right-hand side, and the green is usually very firm. A tough ask. Going with the five wood. Needs this one to kick right. This would be a great up and down.
What's in front of them, Henny, with this putt? Setting up this putt 10 feet from the cup. This is what they have left for par here. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Just a short putt remaining here. Well, that's providing some hope to the rest of the field as our leader stumbles with a bogey. Still in the lead now after that hole. Here we are at the final hole on the front nine. Ninth hole, bunkers down the left, will not come into play. And this green sits below the players on their second shot. We have seen birdies made here in the past, but they are really difficult to come by. Playing from around 160 yards. Currently in the lead by a shot. Good sounding strike, that one. Wow, what a shot. And as good as they putt, you almost have to guarantee this one. Oh, good look at a birdie here. This one's tracking. We can't make them all. Go tap it in. And just a little bit of cleanup work remaining on this hole. Well, this is where the knees start to knock. The sweat starts to appear on the palms of your hands, Rich. Just a slender lead with nine to play. Yeah, no time to start thinking about that lead, Luke. they got to keep their head down and keep going forward. Cannot think about that lead or people will pass them. Oh, that was pure. Sitting at four under for the day, currently in the lead. This is looking pretty good in the air. A wonderful shot and a chance for birdie here on the 10th. Just 10 feet to the cup here. Ooh, right by the hole. Well, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. Unable to take advantage of the great approach there, Rich. Leading by a shot after that hole. This hole is a par three. Par three measures 231 yards from the back. A very difficult test indeed. A long green that is unforgiving as it slopes from back to front quite severely. Birdies are hard to run by as pars can be as well. That one should find the surface. Oh, what a lovely shot. He'll be delighted to be inside the range there. What's in front of them, Henny? Can't be too aggressive here. Take your medicine and move on. This is down the hill. Wow, that's misjudged. Six feet remaining to the cup. Oh. 
That will work. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. We have a par four on this one. Par four, 510 yards. It is a brute. Those bunkers down the right-hand side are a natural attraction for wayward golf balls. Second shot is down the slope. A big, deep, gaping bunker on the right-hand side will also find its fair share of golf balls. All in all, just a tough hole, to say the least. Second shot here on the 12th. Opting for the five wood. Woo, back there, horsey. Getting ready to play their third. He leads the field by a stroke. That's a fine effort, that one. You always want to putt those ones stone dead. Now leading by one shot. Time to face a par four now. Tee shot up the hill to a blind landing area. Second shot is to a green that is surrounded by a cavern of bunkers. If you miss all those and find the green in two, then you'll have a decent look at a birdie three. Ah, that's a little untidy. Henny, how's that ball lying? Looks like they have a bad lie here in the second cut. Going with the five iron here. What an escape artist. That was a horrible lie. This putt just five feet away from the hole. Little birdie look in here. Was on a good line. Putting for par. Well, it was a wonderful approach shot, wasn't it? But unfortunately, having to settle for par. Currently four under for the round. Time to face a par four. Fairway sweeps from right to left down the hill. Should you find the fairway, you'll have a decent look at finding the green in two. But I got to say, it is a difficult par four and you'd be happy to walk away with that score where did that come from that's not his style the 14th hole at tpc boston is a par five for the locals a converted par four for the tournament rich and it's a strong second shot down the hill Second shot, very narrow opening to this green. If you miss it out to the right in the bunkers, you have a difficult time getting it up and down. Out to the left, you have some options. Parts can be made. That's a smart option. Back into the fairway. And here we are with the third shot. Currently leading by two.
This one looks to be a tad wayward. Nicely done. Well, a lovely opportunity to save par here. Nice little putt to hole, that one. Currently in first position. Teeing off here at the 15th hole. Par four, and a fun little par four at that, just 421 yards from the back. Fairly generous fairway but a green that can provide some entertainment as there's some different swales in the green and your golf ball can go a wandering if you're not careful. Nicely done. Sitting at minus four, currently leading. Going with the eight iron here. He didn't look to hit that one quite so flush. Missing it short there, they will definitely be upset. Getting ready to play their third. He's got a two stroke buffer. Time now for the fourth shot. There's part of about six feet coming up. That's tracking. And the putt drops. Now at three under, heading down the stretch. And anything can happen down the stretch. Let's see what takes place. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. Three holes remaining, folks. Hang on to your hats. This is going to be a wild and woolly finish. Teeing off here on the 16th hole. Watch out for this green. There's a large shelf on the right-hand side. If it's up there, good luck getting it close. And whatever you do, don't be silly and hit it left in the water. That's just a bad shot. Opting for the six iron. Is that what they had in mind? Yeah, trying to draw that one in there, but not committing to it, leaving it out. down the opportunity to make their par oh what a stroke oh wonderful effort confirms the par the leader now has a one stroke advantage Two holes to go, Luke. I know who I like. And now teeing off on this par four hole. Dog Lake from right to left. Second shot is down the slope. Lots of bunkers on this hole, but should you avoid them and find this sliver of a green, then birdie will be on your mind.
Well, Rich, the 17th hole at TPC Boston, I think the most important thing is positioning your tee shot so you can get a clear look at the green here. A very narrow green actually bisected in two by Santa Claus's belly, thus the size of it. Find the right level, you have a birdie opportunity. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Oh, what a shot by our leader. Eight feet to the cup. Right over the spot they were looking at. And that putt will give them birdie number six on the day. And that will take him to four under. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Of all the finishing holes on the PGA Tour, Rich, there's plenty that feel the TPC Boston can be right up with the very best of them. Long hitters are looking to take it down the left-hand side and get the extra chase on the golf ball down the slope. That'll leave them with a very short second shot to a dangerous green, big deep bunker right, and a large hollow on the left-hand side. Birdies and eagles have been made before, but so have sixes and sevens. Ah, that's not the shot he's hoping for. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? This is looking around 115 yards out. That a boy, good shot. And this putt for the tournament. Not the end of the world. There's another chance here to close out the victory. A good stroke. And they've done it. What an effort that is, winning Q School and what's a pressure-packed tournament. Yes, hats off, but listen, I, it really doesn't matter, Luke. You finish first or you finish 25th, you still get your tour card. You still have an amazing opportunity next year. Yes, winning it does get you into a few more events at the beginning of the year, but you better play your way into the next part of the year because of the reshuffle. Hats off to the winner, but hats off to all the players getting through. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.